because you know Jurassic's probably right. It probably isn't as good as the original, but I don't know. I'll give it a shot. I've, I've quite enjoyed it so far, and it was cheap. Right, next up, um, really chuffed to found this. This is a, a game I never ever see in the shops. Um, even online, there's only a couple of copies available, um, which is really strange. I have read an article on Amazon that somebody put together where they explained um, they listed a load of games that are supposed to be rare and hard to find on Xbox. This was one of them they listed, and they said that apparently when it was released in 2005 or 2006, I can't remember, um, because it was the end of the Xbox lifestyle, life cycle, apparently this was only released um, and sold in game. Now, I don't know if that's true, because I mean, I just think, why would you, leave, you, know, why would you sell the game in one shop? I don't really see the point of an exclusivity there, but whatever. Um, now, I had a look online, and when I bought the game last week, there were like four copies on Play.com, uh, there were six copies on Amazon, and only one on eBay, which sold within a couple of hours of me seeing it. Um, so I was very chuffed to find this, and it was a bit more than what I'd pay normally, but I had to get it. Call of Duty Free. Now, this was seven ninety nine, which I would never pay normally, but as I say, this game's hard to get, so I thought, why not? Complete main and disc. Now, this game is absolutely brilliant. I really, really enjoyed this. I've got to say, guys, um, I had this on 360 when it first came out, and then I got it on PS3 later on. When I had the 360 version, I played Call of Duty 2 by Infinity Ward, and I absolutely adored that game. I mean, I don't play online, but with Call of Duty 2, I played a lot of online gaming, and I really enjoyed it. Multiplayer, single player, perfection. Call of Duty 3, if you don't know, is made by Treyarch. You know, the usual cycle of Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Treyarch. Treyarch didn't do a very good job, I thought. I thought the 360, when I played on the 360 and PS3, I didn't like it. Uh, I thought it was bloated, it was sluggish, there was crap cutscenes that were just unnecessary. Uh, there was quick time moments. I just thought it was a mess. With, but unfortunately it was a mess with some good levels in, in the middle somewhere. It was really annoying. However... Playing it on the Xbox is such a different experience. I'll start with the negatives, right, just to get them out of the way. Not really that bad. Same again, uh, the first couple of levels are really pointless. They're just basically teaching you how to play the game, which you don't need to do because, I mean, by this point, most people who have played a lot of first-person shooters or first-person war games and will know how to control them. So I found that a bit pointless having the hand-holding. Um, the first couple of cutscenes are absolutely awful. The acting's bad. Um, the second, after the first level, which is basically just learning how to use the weapons, um, the second level after that, you, you, this is one bit, you just halfway through the level, they just throw a cutscene in for no reason. It doesn't give anything to the story, it's really badly acted and it's just annoying, and you can't skip the cuts, so it's very frustrating. Um, another thing that bugged me about the game was the quick time moments. I don't like quick time moments, so if you like quick time moments, they don't bother you, then it won't affect you. But for me personally, I just never see it. Any reason to put them in a game, they just don't serve a purpose, they're just annoying. Um, and one other thing is the AI is really, really, really bad. Uh, your AI soldiers are useless. Most of the time they don't fire back at the enemies, uh, they, they sort of circle around you, they run in front of you. And this is a really strange thing, is every level by the last level of the game, when your soldiers run in front of you, your gun jams up. So if you're in the middle of a battle, you can't shoot your gun, you have to move to the side or try and aim around your soldiers, which is really stupid. But I found on the last level of the game, Weird thing happened, one of my soldiers ran in front of me and I shot him in the back and it, and it stopped the game and restarted it and it came up, friendly foe will not be tolerated or not. Hang on, you can't turn that on now on the last level, what's that about? <laughs> really strange, I don't know what they were thinking there. But, all that to one side, I've got to say, the most important thing is, the cutscenes do improve as you get past like second or third level, the story gets better, the acting gets slightly better and it's much more bearable. The game itself, the core mechanics, the gameplay, the, the guns, they're just absolutely brilliant. The sound effects are fantastic, the music's great, the graphics look absolutely fantastic on the Xbox. Really, really impressive lighting, fantastic smoke effects, uh, level of detail is superb. The guns control so well. Uh, it's like playing a, a current gen World War II fighter home shooter. Really, really impressive and really intuitive. And I would basically say just ignore the current gen versions of Call of Duty 3 and play last gen. And if you just see this as a last gen title, it, you will really appreciate it a lot more. For me personally, before I played this, the best World War II shooter on Xbox for me was Medal of Honor European Assault, which I absolutely loved. Uh, followed by probably Call of Duty Finest Hour, which I believe was Infinity War as well. Um, but now it's definitely Call of Duty 3. I've really enjoyed this from beginning to end. I've played all the way through and loved it. Um, an official Xbox magazine says they're the definitive war game on Xbox. Well, I've got to agree, it definitely is. Um, I would highly recommend picking this up if you see it. Um, 
just give it a try and stick with it because the first couple of levels of the side will do your head in because they're a bit crap. But once you get past them and you get to the better levels, it's just really, really fun. Uh, highly recommend this game, so impressed. And uh, the interesting thing as well, this game, when I got it, it was really, really badly scratched. And I've just forgot, I forgot to pick something up and I'll just grab it. So, uh, obviously I've had problems with games in the past. I've got one of those disc cleaners where you just put it in the machine, you spray the, the uh, liquid on, you spin it around and it cleans the disc. And it doesn't really get rid of the scratches, it just cleans the disc and buffs it. So I went and took a risk and bought this instead. Uh, you probably can't read that. And this is just a cream base, it's a disc repair cream. Uh, it's just 3 dollars free delivery on eBay. And it's just like a tough paste trick. Basically you just get this, put a little bit on your disc, and then you, you go from the centre to the edge and you go like that and rub it in as hard as you can for like two to three minutes on the scratch and it removes most of the scratches. And I've got to say, really effective. It's taken most of the scratches off and the more you do it, the more scratches you really, you, you take away. Uh, I was having an audio skip problem. It was like basically the music was skipping. It was cutting out completely. The sound effects were going off. Um, the, the speech was skipping. I did this and it fixed it right perfectly. And uh, the really, really impressive thing with this cream is that I've got a few games where I've had problems trying to get them to work. I bought Constantine from a car boot and it would load to the menu and it wouldn't load into level 1 after that, it just froze up. I used the cream, works perfect first time. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog, which my good friend Nemesis gave me. Um, I tried that and had the same thing, it would load to the menu, it wouldn't get any further. Use the cream, fix the disc, absolutely amazing. And most importantly, I've got Grand Theft Auto Vice City which when I got was scratched and I played it on my modded Xbox and basically you get the loading screen, you get the progress bar across the bottom and it would go all the way across to the right and then stop and you can hear the Xbox trying to access the disc constantly, it just would not load the game no matter what I tried. So I tried it on my other Xbox which is a brand new one in the box. Got that out of the box, tried that, Vice City loaded no problem, started playing it 10 minutes in the game froze up and every time I tried it did the same thing. Very annoying, so I took it down town and I got it resurfaced and when it was resurfaced, it got every scratch out by one tiny little scratch. Bought it, home, same thing, modded Xbox, wouldn't load it at all. Brand new Xbox, freezes up when you're playing it. So the other day, when I got this cream, I thought, oh, screw it, I'll just give it a try. Cleaned the whole disc with the cream, got rid of some of the scratch, about half of it, and just buffed up the disc nice and clean. Buffed it up, stuck it into my modded Xbox, and it loaded up perfectly and plays every time. <laughs> I can't believe that, if a resurfacing doesn't work, and this does. Unbelievable, I'd highly recommend trying this out if you've got any discs that are giving you problems. Uh, I found also as well, you want to give it a bloody good clean after you've used this stuff, because I tend to use a bit too much cream, uh, and the machine wouldn't read it at all. So what I did was I cleaned it all up, buffed it, then I used the other cleaner, sprayed it with that special stuff, and then give it a good buff with that and all, and it just come out straight, and yeah, brilliant. So I'm really impressed with that stuff. Right, okay, and on to the last game I bought this month. Last game I bought, uh, I saw this last week when I bought Buffy. Uh, really, really glad I picked this up. Half-Life 2. Um, I've heard so much about this game over the years, about how good it is. Having never played it myself, because I'm not a PC gamer, and this came out in 2005. Uh, and in 2005, the Xbox 360 came out in December. And basically I sold my original Xbox around about the beginning of 2005, the middle of 2005, to raise the funds to get the 360 in December. So I never played this game. And I'm so, so glad I picked it up. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Uh, the, the story is super. The characters are fantastic. The acting is spot on. But even the lip sync is really good. The graphics are just phenomenal for the Xbox. They really push the system so well. Uh, it's got awesome music. Really great soundtrack. Just It's just absolutely perfect. It draws you in so much. Um, the only negative I'll say is the puzzles. I mean, they're really simple, but they're quite irritating and I just don't, I hate first person shooters when they stick puzzles in. In fact, I hate any game where they have a fixed genre and then they start to throw another couple of genres in there. It's like, look, I don't want to play a first person shooter, I don't want to play a bloody Tomb Raider game or a puzzle game, I want to play a first person shooter, but it's a minor gripe. I absolutely love it. I've not got too far, I've just picked up the gravity gun um, and I'm really enjoying every minute of it and I can't wait to finish the game and play through it. Really, really impressive. Um, so yeah guys, that's it really, that's all I've picked up this month. Um, if, you, if you want to see any gameplays, because I keep forgetting to ask that every month. If you want to see any gameplays of any of those games, just let me know. Uh, Lost Vikings, that'll get done anyway, because I'll be doing it in the Super Nintendo Classics at some point. But any of the others, just uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I will definitely do a gameplay for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you all again at the end of September with whatever games I'll pick up then. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. See you all again soon.